Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today we're going to talk about the Passport 2650BH. It's a great floor plan, it has a couple bunks, nice large U-shaped dinette the whole family can sit around, has a grill on the back, and even better, it's going to be lightweight, it weighing in under 5,000 pounds. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the external features. Right up front here you'll notice we're going to have our propane cover. This is great because that way it's going to hide your unsightly propane tanks. Nice easy access, you just have a couple of set screws here. These fold down, the top folds up, that way you're going to have access to your propane tanks right up top. The front end, you'll notice you're going to have the diamond plating. That's going to help protect against any rock chips get thrown up from the vehicle here. That way it's not going to scratch up your fiberglass. Now one of the great things about Passport is going to be towability. They have a lot of features that make them uh, really great to tow. One of them of course being lightweight. Another, take a look at the curve you have on the front end. It's going to be cut back. That way it's going to be nice and aerodynamic. So when the wind hits, it's going to go up and over and it's not going to be like a, just a big piece of wood that's going to stop you. So that's going to be uh, a nice advantage. As we take a look here, we get nice pass-through storage. Take a look at that. Huge pass-through there. We're going to have a light and you can also see it's going to have an aluminum structure. So again, that's going to help uh, with your with your weights. That's what's going to help you know get it under that 4,900 pounds and it's also going to be nice because you never have to worry about it rotting out like you possibly would with a wood frame. Uh, you will have four scissor jacks, two on the front and two on the back. Those are, of course, going to be built in. If we take a look at the top of the unit, look how long that awning is. You get a huge awning on here, spans almost the entire length of the trailer. That is, of course, a power awning. So, touch of a button that rolls out, touch of a button that rolls back in. A couple great things about a power awning. One, it's super easy to do with one person because you just have to touch a button. Uh, that way you know if storm's rolling in, no big deal, roll it back in. Also, um, it's going to be great because you don't have to take it out the entire way. So if you're in a small spot, you have a couple of trees, not a problem, you can take it out three quarter of the way, no issues there. You'll also have some external speakers. Uh, again, advantageous to be sitting outside underneath the awning, you want to listen to some music, you can do that. It will be controlled by the stereo inside, but that is going to be Bluetooth capable. So if you uh, want to connect to it wirelessly through an iPod or cellular device, you can certainly do that. Getting into the coach is nice and easy. You're going to have three steps. Look how low this first step is. That's great if you have, you know, bad knees. Uh, maybe you have little ones that'll be traveling with you, of course, because again, it is a bunkhouse. Nice and easy for them to climb up in. And you're also going to get a grab rail here in order to assist you into the coach. One of the things you don't see underneath, this is going to have a heated and enclosed underbelly. So what that means for you is it allows you to camp later into the season on those cold nights. You don't have to worry about it freezing because those tanks are going to be heated through that uh, heated underbelly. Also, take a look at our axles here. As you'll see, they are going to be a spread axle system. It's load equalization. Again, that's going to help for your towability. Having the wider axles means you're going to get less sway, which is important when you're going to be towing. A little bit of extra storage here. If we take a look, you know, a lot of times you don't get this. This is a nice added feature. Not only do you have a massive pass through on this one, but you get extra storage back here. This is perfect for, uh, you know, firewood, a couple other things you want to put back there. Uh, just a great extra space to have. Also on the back, we are going to have uh, our spare tire here. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event you do, it do, does come equipped with one. It'll be mounted on the bumper, and you're going to get a grill. So this way, if you want to cook outside, no problem. You can just pull this pin out. This will swing around, this arm will, and it does come with the grill for your outside cooking. This is going to be a black tank flush. If you're not familiar with that, what this does is it prevents you from having to drag a hose into your trailer and putting it down the toilet to wash out your black tank. Now you can just take a hose, screw it into this right here. The black tank's gonna have uh, sprayers built in and it'll go ahead and wash it out for you. On the other side of the coach, we'll have our electrical plug-in as well as a fully functional outside shower with both hot and cold water. All right, enough about the outside. Let's go take a look on the inside. Welcome to the inside of the Passport 2650BH. Let's start off and look at some of the features in the kitchen. First off, I want to point out that you get great countertop space on here. You know, plenty of space. You want a drying rack and everything else you're going to want to put on the countertop. Also, they're going to further utilize that space by giving you sink top covers. The thing I love about these sink top covers, you can turn them over. They are going to be cutting board quality, so you can use them as cutting boards. When you're done, flip it back over, no one will ever know. 
If we take a look at the sink, we're going to have a beautiful 70-30 sink. Of course, that means that the bowl on the left is going to be larger. That way it gives you plenty of room to wash all the dishes and then a smaller one to rinse. Also, you're going to get this nice high-rise faucet, brush nickel, that is going to help uh, as we wash the dishes. If we look underneath, you can take a look here. We get nice, great storage compartments. And like all passports, you're going to have two nice, large, full extension drawers. If you take a look at that, very long drawers, which is great for anything you're going to want to store in that compartment. Also, underneath the sink, we have additional storage. Great place if you need a trash can, you can fit one there, or any, uh, you know, any kind of cleaning supplies. Again, it's always just great to have that extra storage. Rounding off the countertop, you're going to have your three burner stove top here, as well as a traditional oven, and nice big storage compartment underneath. This is perfect for all your pots and pans, plenty of space, nice big opening for all of them to fit. As we move up top, you get great pantry storage here. You know, great place for chips, Oreos, marshmallows, you know, things for s'mores, everything you're gonna need there. You'll have your microwave. The weight on this unit, 4,880 pounds. So again, it is going to be nice and lightweight, easy to tow. Here you're going to have a fully functional hood with a light and a fan as well. And then to finish off the kitchen, we'll have our Dometic fridge and freezer combo. Nice big fridge and freezer. You'll see you have a couple of drawers here, which is great. Of course, plenty of door space here as well. And this is going to have automatic switch over. So this uh, can run off propane or electric. If you're running off propane, as soon as you plug into shore power, it will automatically switch over for you. This is something else I love. I like about the Passport 2650. You get a nice versatile closet space. So you can do multiple things here. You'll see there is a hanging rod up top. These shelves are removable. So if you would like, you can have a wardrobe or if you have uh, all your clothes tucked away elsewhere, you can use this as more pantry storage. Here we're going to have our bunks. Uh, both these bunks are you know, gonna have a 300 pound weight limit. Um, you'll have window both top and bottom as well as lights. So plenty of room there. And you'll notice here you are going to have an, an AC duct. So that way you know, all the AC is going to be ducted. It is gonna be nice and cool back here. You don't have to worry about your kids sweating to death in the middle of the night. Straight in the back is going to be our bath. As we step into our bathroom, we'll see we have nice vanity, plenty of room there, huge countertop, space for trash can underneath. And you have your stool there in the corner with plenty of leg room. Our tub shower, which is wonderful, uh, you know, for, for bathing the kids with, of course, a vent up top. And then we're going to have our medicine cabinet with mirror and storage behind that as well. Right outside of the bathroom, we open this up, check this out. Again, another nice versatile closet. So you get another wardrobe here, you get the removable shelves again. So you know you can put anything you want in there, whether it's folded clothes, whether you wanna hang clothes, whatever you want, you're gonna make sure you have plenty of storage. And I love this u dinette. You get this huge u dinette, big enough for the whole family to sit around. You're gonna have a nice window here, lets in a lot of natural light, the light fixture up top. And the great thing about this is this will drop down into a very large bed. So if you do have additional adult guests staying with you, this can drop down. Of course, the cushions in the back here will fill in the table and you have a very large sleeping space for two adults. And in case they have children as well, not a problem. We have our super comfortable couch. This is going to be a jackknife sofa, so this will come down into a bed too. But this gives you another area to sit, which is wonderful, especially if you want to watch TV. This uh, particular unit does come equipped with a 32 inch TV. You're gonna have storage here in the entertainment center, both on top and down below, which is wonderful. And then right in between, you'll have all your controls, which will control your lights, your water heater, your slides, awning, and you're also going to have your multimedia center here. Now, I mentioned this on the outside, but the multimedia center is what's gonna control your outside speakers. It'll also control your inside speakers. That is going to be a radio, a CD player, as well as a DVD player. So you can pop a movie in there, and of course, watch it here on the 32-inch TV. Now, when it's time to retire for the night, there's gonna have to be a place for mom and dad to sleep, not a problem. Then we can come right into our bedroom. So in the bedroom, you are going to have two sliding doors, which is wonderful. These just 
slide like so, and you'll notice here there's going to be a cutout. This is where you can have a TV for the bedroom. So if you do want a TV in the bedroom, it's gonna be nice and protected. It just sits right behind the doors, but you are able to go ahead and put one in there. Also, great storage in the bedroom on both sides. Of course, you have mirrored wardrobes, but you do have a hanging rod in here, so you can hang clothes here. And then up top, you have uh, doors as well with additional storage. The thing I like about these doors is that they're not ones that lift up and you have to hold them up. You know, they're nice big openings and they open sideways, so they're nice and easy to access. Also, they're gonna have the tinted glass so you can't see what's in there. Um, you know, again, just, just an added feature. You'll also have a shelf on, a larger shelf on this side, a, a little bit smaller shelf on that side, but still plenty of room for a glass of water. And you'll have electrical outlets on both sides as well. Uh, of course, you do have storage underneath the bed. The bed lifts up just like so, so you get great storage. You can see there, there's your grill I mentioned that's going to connect to the bumper, but you get great storage here, as well as, of course, the pass-through storage outside. All right, folks, thanks for joining me. Again, this is a Passport 2650BH, nice and lightweight. It's under 5,000 pounds, easy to tow, has some bunks, nice big u dinette. You get the outside grill, definitely a winning floor plan. If you do have any questions, please feel free to comment on the video, or you can always give us a call here at American RV. Thanks for joining. I hope you have a great summer, and I can't wait to pass you on the road to freedom.